In the summer of 75, a film emerged that forever changed the landscape of cinema, gripping audiences worldwide with primal fear and suspense. Jaws, directed by Steven Spielberg, wasn't just a movie. It was a seismic event that etched its place in film history. Its enduring qualitas meticulous storytelling, spine-tingling suspense, and unforgettable character render it an everlasting symbol of the industry. The calculated tension and expertly crafted terror transformed the once serene waters into a haunting, unknown abyss, leaving an indelible mark on the collective psyche of moviegors. The film's ability to tap into a universal furth unknown lurking beneath the surface resonated profoundly, sparking a wave of similar genre films while setting an impossibly high bar. Its impact on popular culture, from the iconic score to the proliferation of shark-themed merchandise, is a testament to its enduring legacy. Jaws wasn't merely a film, it became a cultural touchstone, a standard against which all suspense-driven blockbusters would be measured. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this film? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. The making of the film stretched far beyond its intended schedule and budget, leading the crew to affectionately dub it flaws. Despite the constraints, the team employed innovative methods, often opting for handheld shots to capture the raw power of the ocean's waves. There's a memorable moment where Hooper, while examining a damaged vessel, is depicted hyperventilating a clever technique used in diving to delay the need for air. These challenges, though demanding, lent an added layer of authenticity to the film enriching its impact on audiences. It's fascinating how these production hurdles and creative choices culminated in a cinematic masterpiece that continues to resonate with viewers worldwide. Steven Spielberg had a vivid vision for a memorable shark introduction. He aimed for a scene at the dock, intending to showcase the shark's immense size by having boats rise and fall above it. But logistical challenges and a malfunctioning shark scrapped the plan. Instead, Spielberg relied on the essence of local personalities to shape characters. Robert Shaw drew inspiration from Craig Kingsbury, a fisherman, an eccentric figure, to craft the iconic Quint. Kingsbury's off-screen mannerisms even became lines for Quint. Behind the scenes, Spielberg's frustration with the malfunctioning animatronic shark led to a colorful nickname, the Great White Turd. These anecdotes paint a picture of the film's challenges and creative solutions contributing to the legend it became. Quint's boathouse set for the movie was constructed on an abandoned lot in Martha's Vineyard. To secure permission for filming, the production team had to commit to demolishing the set post-shoot and restoring the site precisely as it had been, even down to the scattered litter. This meticulous agreement mirrored the attention to detail seen throughout the film's production. The dedication to recreating the exact environment showcases the level of commitment and authenticity filmmakers pursued to bring the story to life. It's fascinating how the creation of a single set reflects the overall precision and dedication of the team behind the iconic film, capturing a pivotal location that echoed the essence of the story. Robert Shaw, portraying Quint, brought an unexpected touch to a pivotal scene in the film. When prompted by Spielberg to hassle Brody's wife on the dock, Shaw ad-libbed the haunting line, Here lies the body of Mary Lee. This improvised moment added depth to Quinn's character and held a mysterious origin it mirrored an inscription from an old grave marker in Ireland. Shaw's contribution highlighted the actor's influence on shaping the film's dialogue and atmosphere, contributing to the depth of character seen throughout the production. This spontaneous line became a subtle yet memorable element, underscoring the collaborative nature of the film's creation. Originally, Steven Spielberg wasn't the director of the film. The first director had a vision that clashed with the story it involved a whale instead of a shark. That idea didn't sit well with the producers, so they made a change. Spielberg stepped in and faced a big challenge. The model shark used for the movie wasn't reliable. It kept sinking and needed a lot of fixing. Instead of showing the shark all the time, Spielberg went for what people couldn't see, making it scarier. Universal liked the final product so much that they splurged on a huge TV ad campaign costing a record-breaking sum. It's fascinating how a change in direction and some shark trouble led to a classic thriller that still keeps folks on edge today. In 2010, Charmel Shake faced a series of shark attacks reminiscent of events from the film.
Mirroring the denial, reluctance to close beaches, and misidentification of the culprit, the situation unfolded eerily similar to 75 Seconds Shark Frenzy. The resort's handling paralleled the fictional chaos, resulting in a bizarre exit by the shark, echoing the unpredictability that made the movie gripping. This real-life occurrence starkly resembled the tension and mismanagement portrayed in the iconic thriller, further cementing the film's impact on popular culture. The 1975 movie Jaws left an indelible mark on both cinema and real-life locales. One memorable scene, not originally in the script, birthed the famous line, You're gonna need a bigger boat. Roy Shader improvised it, adding to the film's iconic moments. Moreover, Martha's Vineyard saw a threefold surge in summer tourists, jumping from 5,000 to 15,000 after the film's release. The impact extended beyond the screen, transforming a quiet destination into a bustling hotspot. Another intriguing detail came during the scar-comparing scene between Richard Dreyfuss and Robert Shaw. Shader lifted his shirt, revealing an appendix scare a genuine mark from his own life, not a prosthetic. These nuances enriched the authenticity of the characters and their interactions. Each of these aspects Shader's improvised line, the tourism boom in Martha's Vineyard, and Shader's genuine scarce contributed to the enduring legacy of the film, shaping its impact on audiences and cultural phenomena. Roy Shader revealed an intense moment during filming. In a scene where Lee Firo smacked him, she actually landed the hits. The actress struggled to fake it, making the 17 takes among Shader's most painful acting experiences. Firo even mentioned a take where her slap made Shader's glasses fall off. This raw interaction added authenticity to the film's emotional scenes, showing the dedication of the actors to their roles. It's these genuine moments that often contribute to the power of a movie, making the impact resonate beyond the screen. Steven Spielberg, known for his keen eye in casting, spotted Roy Shader's talent after witnessing his exceptional performance in The French Connection. This encounter led to a significant turning point in Shader's career when Spielberg, despite facing initial hesitations from the studio, offered him a pivotal role in a film that would alter the course of cinema history. Shader, with his remarkable acting prowess, sealed a groundbreaking three-picture deal, culminating in his involvement in what would be remembered as the sequel to an iconic movie. This decision not only elevated the sequel but also solidified Shader's position in the cinematic realm, leaving an indelible mark on the original film and steering the trajectory of his own career. The ripple effect of Spielberg's casting choice reverberated through the industry, shaping the narrative of the classic while propelling Shader to greater heights in his acting journey. This collaboration between Spielberg and Shader became a defining moment, etching their names into the annals of film history. The legacy of this decision continues to resonate, standing as a testament to the foresight and intuition of a visionary director and the exceptional talent of an actor whose impact endures through time. As the ocean waves settle and the iconic theme lingers in your thoughts, take a moment to plunge into the depths of your memory reel. Perhaps it's the spine-tingling suspense, the chilling soundtrack that still resonates in your mind, or the sheer terror that made your heart race. Whether you found solace in the thrill or clutched the edge of your seat in fear, there's something about that timeless classic that lingers like an indelible mark on the sands of cinematic history. Your connection to this tale of the deep could be a vivid recollection of the first time you dared to venture into the waters, cautious of any unseen ripples, or maybe it's the camaraderie shared while watching, the laughter or the gasps interwoven with the story's unfolding drama. Jaws isn't just a movie, it's a shared experience, a cultural touchstone that brings together generations under the guise of a predator lurking beneath the waves. So, let the memories surge forth like the mighty Jaws themselves. Share your thoughts, your anecdotes, and your favorite moments, creating a mosaic of reflections that echo the impact this film has had on us all. Thank you for diving into these cinematic depths with me, sharing your own unique connection with this iconic tale. Until our next rendezvous with stories untold, keep those memories close, just as the ocean guards its mysteries.